Well, my arms are tired. I'm out of here. So, I see you were too lazy to get mining level 15. Where'd you get that rat tail? Uh, from a rat, duh. But hey, look, my mining level is 13, so I did pretty good, right? Oh, what's this? Ooh, there's something in this door for me to put objects in. Uh, can't see any way to open the door. What, you can't just put a magic door in this game and then not expect me- Is that a chest? There's a chest on the other side of this magic door! Dude! A can burning candle on an interesting stand. Wow, okay. Well, this is... I didn't expect to see that, but, uh... Anyway, yeah, there's so there's a bunch of rats around here. I just kind of stabbed one, and you know it died. Ugh, scorpion! Don't don't see me, scorpion. And I just took its tail, cause you know that's how I do. Anyway, so I mean, getting up there to that spot in order to mine stuff was easy. All I had to do don't don't stab me. Ow! Damn it! Yo, all I had to do was just kind of run up that passage. Yeah, you take it, scorpion. Get him, guy. So. You know, now that uh, we've established how I got up there, some guy dropped a bunch of iron ore on the ground, like that guy who was mining next to me, so, you know, obviously I couldn't mine it, I'm only mining level 13, well, now I am. But I just picked it up, but hey, you know, I still got uh, enough ore here to make uh, two, what was it, bronze bars, yeah. So, how does that work? I mean, does tin and copper actually make bronze? I don't think it does. Well, whatever. So, I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory right now, so let's go ahead and get rid of most of this crap because I don't need it. Let's see, so... I gotta plan my time as effectively as possible so I don't have to keep coming back around here. Um... Ooh! I still gotta finish the Pirate's Treasure quest, don't I? Yeah! Okay, so, yeah, get rid of the rat's tail, get rid of this bar that the goblins gave me. Uh... I don't know, do I want to get rid of this hammer yet? Get rid of it. Yeah, sure, let's get rid of it. So, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do the pirate's treasure stuff, and then I need to go, and yeah, I'm going to need this spade for that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, see where that, uh, that that picture is for that, uh, that sword. Anyway, in the park where the X marks the spot. Yeah, okay. So, I was there before. Uh, that's where I saw that uh, statue of Sarah de Men, because apparently that's all the taller he is. And, yeah, that looks like an X, so let's go ahead and, uh, <laughs> thought you'd be bigger than that. Let's go ahead and use the spade. Ah! First moles that- I'm not a vandal! All I wanted to do was dig up the ground a little bit. Oh, okay, you attacked me. Your life is forfeit, dude. Didn't want to have to do this to a more or less helpless gardener, but, I mean, you're not exactly unarmed. You got a freaking pitchfork in your hand. Oh, jeez. Okay, good. That guy's not attacking me. Yeah. You take it. Alright, now can I please dig in peace? Man, all these guys showing up all of a sudden. Hey! Found a little chest of treasure. Okay, uh, quest is complete, but that was really quick, so I didn't get to read what it said. Uh, okay, let's uh, check out the free quests, the ones I don't have to pay for, I guess. Quest complete. I found the treasure, gained two quest points, and gained access to the pay fare option travel to and from Karanja. Didn't I already have that? Oh, well, whatever. Let's open the chest. Ooh, look at this stuff! Okay, so I got a couple hundred coins and, uh, got an emerald and this ring. Put this ring on my finger. Guess I don't need this pirate message anymore. Boy, whoever picks that up next is gonna be disappointed. Okay, so gold ring on my finger. Um, always a good idea to have that because that way, you know, if I happen to not have enough money where I'm going somewhere, then I could just sell the gold ring, get myself, like, a couple hundred gold or... However much it's worth. Anyway, let's make that bronze bar. I know, I know I need one for the key. I'm not sure what I'll need this other one for, but better to have two of everything, right? Okay, and so now I'm right next to the castle, so let's go ahead down to Falador Castle here. Talk to that squire. See if I can find a picture of Sir Vivian with a sword in it. This is a lot of trouble I'm going through just for this one sword. This quest had better be worth it. So, how are you doing getting the sword? I found it in Kando Dwarf, but he needs a picture of the sword before he can make it. A picture, huh? Eh? Hmm. The only thing I can think of is the small portrait of Sir Vivian's father. Sir Vivian keeps it in a cupboard in his room, I think. Okay. Okay, I'll try and get it then. Please don't let him catch you. He mustn't know what happened. Okay. Sir Vivian is in the castle's east wing, third floor. Alright, neat. Good to know. Uh... 
So I'll go through the door, climb the ladder. What kind of castle uses ladders? So I'm on the second floor. I think I saw Sir Vivian's room over here. Wait, no, this isn't his room. All these knights around here, which one of these guys is Sir Vivian? Let's go up one more floor. Yeah, it makes more sense to go upstairs than a ladder. Vivian, up oh, there, Sir Vivian. Hey, buddy. Okay, greetings, traveler. Uh, why are there so many knights in the city? Sure. Yeah, why are there so many knights in the city? We are the White Knights of Falador. We are the most powerful order of knights in the land. We are helping the King Valance rule the kingdom as he is getting old and tired. Okay, cool, I guess. Um, I'm gonna bust into your room now, so uh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna rifle through your stuff. I open the cover without touching it, I got telekinetic powers. Alright, I got a picture of your beloved family member. Uh, just gonna leave with it now. You don't mind, right? Of course you don't mind. Okay, so back the way I came. Just go through this room here, which I guess wasn't Sir Vivian's room, but it led up to it. I don't know, I'm not gonna pretend to understand it. Okay, we are at the bottom floor, and I guess let's, uh, let's freaking go back. So, how do you do it getting the reward? I have the picture, I'll just take it to the dwarf now. Please, Hetty. I meant to say sword, not reward. Alright, I'm back here. Boy, that trip would have taken like five minutes to get through. Well, alright, Fatty, I'm back. Got the picture. Can you make the sword now, please? Uh, yeah, I don't care about this Gilkepa smithing. Okay, I found the picture of the sword I would like you to make. So make it! Alright, there it goes, stays the portrait. Okay, you'll need some stuff in order for me to make this. I need two iron bars to make this sword to start with. I also need an ore called Blue Right. It's useless for making actual weapons for fighting with, except crossbows, but I need some decoration for the hilt. It's a fairly rare sort of metal. The only place I know where to get is under this cliff here. But it's guarded by a very powerful ice giant. Most of the rocks in that cliff are pretty useless and don't contain much of anything, but there's definitely some blue right in there. You'll need a little bit of mining experience to be able to find it. Okay, I'll go and find it then. How much mining experience, I wonder? I mean, you know, I've got level 13 mining, so... Oh, yep, level 10, blue right ore. I could totally do it. I guess it was good that I went and did a little bit of mining first before this. Alright, so... He said it was, like, right down underneath this cliff, right? Might as well use this, uh, per level here, rock skin. He said there's an ice giant down there. Nothing else, though, right? Just an ice giant? It shouldn't be too hard to sneak around. Ah! Pirates! Oh, crap! You didn't tell me there were pirates down here? Well, at least it's just other humans. Ow! You dick! So I brought along two iron bars because... Turns out I needed iron bars. Ow! That's a hobgoblin! He just said there was an ice giant. He didn't say anything about hobgoblins and pirates. Okay, who's this? This is getting pretty icy around here. Ow! That's not a... What the heck? Man, it's a good thing I brought all this fish. These guys are chasing me. What the hell, guys? Leave me alone! Jeez, that did five damage! Ow! Oh, crap, I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. Quit following me! Quit following me! Ow! Get not mind this ore? No, I got it! I got it right behind here! Don't you follow me! Oh! Oh, jeez, that was so close! Oh, man, I almost died! Okay, and now I got 14 experience. Yeah, I did great. Man, I'm not gonna be able to get out of here. I, I just gotta teleport. Oh, it's a good thing I know how to do that! Jeez, okay. Good thing he's too stupid to walk around that stalactite? Stalagmite? I don't know what the ones in the bottom are called. See ya, sucker! Alright. Ooh, raw beef! Well, yes, I will take this meat if you guys are just gonna senselessly kill these cattle and leave it on the ground. Need some burnt meat for that one quest anyway, right? Oh, this music. Uh, not really a fan of this music. Hey, Betty. Welcome to the Magic Emporium. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what she's got. Ooh, look at that! She's got some Eyes of Newt! I needed that for the uh, Witch's Potion quest as well. The Eye of Newt costs three coins. Okay, that's not bad. Gross. I feel like I just zoomed forward in time again. 
Man, that's going to mess with my brain for life. I don't know how those other time travelers do it. Freaking Time Lords and Bill and Ted and... Okay. Hey, Thurgo. Uh, about that sword? Uh, how are you doing finding those sword materials? I have them right here. Okay. In retrospect, I think it was a dumb idea to have the two iron bars right on me. Thank you very much! Just remember to call them with more pie sometime! Okay, um, yeah, thanks. Hey, buddy, I got your sword. Could keep it for myself, but it's a piece of crap, so I'm giving it to you. I have retrieved your sword for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I was seriously worried I'd have to own up to Sir Vivian! Okay. Yeah! One quest point, 12,700 some smithing XP. Jeez, dude. And I now have 21 quest points. Very nice. Yeah! 29 smithing! I wonder how I'm gonna need that. Huh. Okay. You know what? I'm curious. Let's go ahead and uh, see what that does. Um... Okay, so level 30, I can I can almost do steel bars at this point. What can I make? 29 will make me iron two-handed swords. Hey, we're near another quest spot. This time, go to the west wing, floor 3. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, so, and I was looking at those other steel, iron things I can make, can't make steel yet. So I can make like a full helm, I can make like, I can almost make plate legs. I know I can make a chain body, so... I can almost make myself a full suit of, like, iron armor. I mean, not the best iron armor. Iron armor's not even that good, but it's something. I am the leader of the White Knights of Falador. Why do you seek my audience? Uh, I saw a quest point here. I seek a quest! Well, I need some spy work doing, but it's quite dangerous. It will involve going into the Black Knight's fortress. Ah! Uh, I go and cower in the corner at the first sight of danger, because I am a low level. Uh, well... I suppose spy work does involve a little hiding in corners. Oh, eh, I suppose I'll give it a go then. You've come along at just the right time, actually. All of my knights are already known as the Black Knights. Subtlety isn't exactly our strong point. Can't you just take your White Knight's armor off? Then they wouldn't recognize you! I am afraid our chatter prevents charter prevents us using espionage in any form in the domain of the Temple Knight. Temple Knights? What are they? That information is classified. I am forbidden to share it with outsiders. So, why do you need to do it? Well, the Black Knights have started making strange threats to us, demanding large amounts of money and land, and threatening to invade Falador if we don't pay them. Now, normally this wouldn't be a problem, but they claim to have a powerful new secret weapon. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to infiltrate their fortress, find what their secret weapon is, and sabotage it. Wow, that sounds freaking cool. Okay, I'll do my best. Good luck. Let me know how you get on. Here's the dossier for the case. I've already given you the details. This is going to be a dangerous quest. Now that you can make iron armor, create some. Get the iron ore you bummed off of miners in your bank and refine it. Bummed off of? I mean, that seems a little harsh. Accurate, but harsh. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this raw beef away. I'm sure one of them will, like, be burnt when I put it on a fire. Like, my cooking level's really low. Okay. So, I need to make some armor. I wonder if I make these into bars, if it'll give me enough uh, smithing experience that I can just bump myself up to level 31 and make iron plate legs. It's 31, right? It's not like 33? And I should have taken a closer look. Oh well. Alright, so let's go ahead and make some iron bars, and then I can go to uh, that dwarf's place and make some uh, iron armor. It'll be freaking cool. Oh crap, it's too impure. Seriously? <sighs> Alright, so let's go ahead and smell them all and hopefully it won't eat anymore. It just ate another one. This is gonna take a while. <laughs>